So there has been a lot of videos of top 10, top something basketball YouTubers or YouTubers who can play basketball. And you know, your boy wasn't even on there. Except one, shout out to La Channel. He had me there at the number one spot, even though I may not deserve to be there. But look, I ain't even mad though, because I'm still a small time YouTuber. Ain't nobody know who I am. Everybody else, you know, they did their thing, you know, they put in the work, you know, to be where they are right now. They all earned their respect and they deserve to get mentioned. And for me, I know I still gotta be on the grind, you know, rise my way to the top and earn my respect as well. Like I said, I'm not even mad, I ain't tripping. This just motivates me to be better at my craft and continue to be on the grind to be better each and every day. That way I can make my way to the top and join the rest of the others. And recently, my boy Trey Good from Cake Genius dropped the top 25 basketball youtubers and he broke it down into three parts and i watched the first two parts and your boy ain't even on the bottom 20 that means two things one there is a possibility that i may be in his top five you know which will be you know a hell of a blessing and honor if that were to happen or two i'm not gonna be in it at all trey jay jones and their crew are my favorite youtubers you know outside of the homies you know andrew and david fung from the fung brothers richie and his crew you know because you know they my dogs besides them trey jay jones kick genius you know they're my go-to youtubers man i love their content i love what they do uh they're motivational they inspire others they bust out fire vids and last but not least, they cold as hell at hooping. To me, Trey and Jay Jones are my number one and number two top basketball YouTubers. I really f with Kick Genius, man, and I never even met them before, but I know they are some real chill dudes. And the time is now. Trey had just dropped his part three, you know, of his top 25 YouTubers, uh, the remaining five people who's gonna be on his list. And, uh, you know, I haven't watched it yet, and uh, I wanna watch it together with all y'all. And let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Top five. Now, let's talk top five. This is where it gets real interesting. Coming in at the number five spot, we have the Notorious, YG West. Now, YG West, three times season okay. champ, just like his brother, he, he's a go, he man. Give his all every I agree with this. Position. Now, I don't want to come on condescending. Mm -hmm. I agree with this. Allow me to help you guys for a quick second. Despite YG scoring 20, 25, or even 31 game, the reason he still comes in at number five is because of how those points are accumulated. If you actually play with YG or just look at some of the footage that's out there, you'll see that when he scores, he's either coming off one screen, two screens, or sometimes even three. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. What you guys have to understand, though, is when we're playing mm -hmm. with YouTubers, these guys, they, they create content. They're, they don't know how to switch. They don't know how to hedge and recover. That's not in the record squad. They don't have to know that. But when Facts. you have somebody like YG, you know, not, sees that, not a lot of people advantage, which again, I can't blame for that. know how to, viewer, you know, play, organize hoops, ranking, you know, organize you ball. Know it's imperative that you know the difference. Because on the flip side, when you actually play against people who every position is filled with somebody who can defend, who has defensive IQ and a big man switches on you, who can actually slide his feet, and now you need some sauce to get by and create your own shot, those freebies are no longer there for watching. There's, there's just no sauce in here. True. He went through the drive-thru and they forgot to give him barbecue. Checking the bag, there's no ranch. You know what I'm saying? Like, no hate, but you know what I'm saying? YouTube game, yeah. Hey, you can't forget the ranch, man. You gotta eat the ranch with the fries. Ranch for everything, to be honest. He's no slouch. Those games are so Trey from real estate. Trey should be a coach, man. Trey, hey, you know, coach on the side, man. You gotta, you know, I know y'all inspire and motivate kids, whoever, hoopers. Gotta teach them, too. A nigga that can create his own shot. Where there's no slouches. Nobody to really take advantage of. Unless you're really that just good. See what I'm saying? Oh, like this, man, you, you I don't know, man. Number four. Again, we are four people about. left. You gotta see past that type of stuff sometimes. Number four. Hey! I haven't seen too many videos, but from what I have seen, he hoops. And that's My what dude, the only difference between Trey. God pause, man. Damn. Yo, man, I'm lost for words right now, man. I made Trey's top five, man. Y'all ain't know how honored I am to be here. Real recognize real, man. That's why, you know, Kick Genius to me, why I f with him so heavily is because, one, they cold as hell as hooping, like I said. You know, their content is amazing, motivational, inspirational. They are, you know, the foundation that you know that i looked up to when i first started youtube and i was like i'm looking at these dudes you know they busting out crazy performance reviews doing the crazy drills their shit is fire man like I, I don't know how i feel to be able to be here right now in trey goods top five like, i got the chills man when, when i saw 
my name, my pig pop up right here, I was like, Trey, man, even though we never met before, you know, I still f with you like you my dog, man. Like, hopefully, you know, soon, one day, I'll be able to meet you, Jay Jones, Nick, and all those guys. Because, you know, y'all the realest, man. Y'all the realest. And, man, for me to be here, honored, man. Blessed. Thank you. It's a... Uh, Let's go back. I'm rolling with Hoopin' Life. I haven't seen too many videos, but from what I have seen, he hoops. And that's really all that needs to be said. The only difference between Hoopin' Life and YG is the fact that Hoopin' Life can't create his own shot. And that's very important when we're talking about a 5-on-5 situation where everybody on the court is going to be able to play defense on an individual basis and a team basis. So where Hoopin' Life true, is, true. Is, he gets past his defender, say, big man comes up in the middle. Euro. Hoopin' hmm. Life has that in his repertoire. Boom. Drop Damn. past defender. Again, he, uh, the block, body, put the finish. put the highlights on my 50 like point game, championship game. The screen, open shot, <laughs> Thank goodness I play well that game, man. That. These guys I'm naming now. Number three, Jay Motherfucking Jones. Now I'm not gonna sit here. Jay Motherfucking Jones, nice, boy. Name on this list so far. Respect, respect I respect that, y'all. Yep. Five racks on Jay. Cash, PayPal, whatever. Series inquiries only. Coming in at number two. Demo. Just LSK. playing. Now, I want to start off by saying. Okay, okay, all right. Now this case number two. Then we already know who number one is. Is gonna help. But you know, not using that hype I ain't mad. I, I, I agree with his number one. Then if the I know who I think it is. That's not a knock to LSK. LSK doesn't post up, though. He, he, he will tell you he's not. That is post. true. Yeah, he don't really post up. But he being 6'10 can still cause hell problems I don't know for us, you know, 5'7 seven guys, you know, or 6 feet and under guys. But, you know. Like I said, it's you know, I, 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 shout out to LSK. Met him at the yes, Big Three game shoot, uh, that one time. Let him shoot. Yeah, I, I, Real I chill dude. I feel bad for him, man. Six ten, the way he was sitting at the Staples Center chairs, man. He had to like turn to the side to sit like that. Trace taking shots at LSK. Dude, it will never be there. Let me press the I'm about LSK. Probably the baddest on YouTube. LSK, I ain't been looking. But let's be real. Kudos. Nah, oh, man, Trey, Trey right? you a dog, bro. You can tell LSK, he's 6'10", but he was one of those guys who was really tall, who seems like he didn't want to play basketball, but he was forced to. I haven't talked to him about it, but I, I, can, I, can, see, I can see that. I think any, any experienced ball player can see that. It's, just, it's not in him like that. Does that mean he's not good? No, it doesn't. He can still beat everybody I've named so far. He's, That's he, true. He has height. That no, I mean, I watched uh, LSK's attack, video on, you know, two, why he quit number basketball. Number you know, it's pretty emotional. Oh, 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 it's number one. Just, just wrap it up. They're more in the competition with themselves than they are their actual opponent. So without further ado, the number one spot goes to Soluminati. 10,000 hours. B dot. And myself. Now, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> chaos. I know, I know. Hey, I know. Uh, look. That was chaos. That was chaos. You man, you threw me off guard. So I thought it was going to be one person. Because when you get to this level, one on one does not define how great you are in the game of basketball. That is a relative. True. The game of true. Is so true. Much I guess you. It's how. It's how much of an impact, much of an impact you make in a, a real game, game or an actual game. game. Soul is gonna win some games. Not really one on one. Win some games. I don't know him personally, but like I keep preaching, it doesn't take much to see if a nigga can hoop or not. It takes a tough mm -hmm. play. I can see how your body stretches out when you do a layup. I, I can so it, it's can hoop, so I didn't need IRL footage. I haven't seen much, but like I said, I can tell he can hoop. He's mm. six. That's, that's a great size. He looks yeah. like he can shoot. B dot. I play with B dot. B dot can really go. B dot has more time to invest in basketball. He's still playing full court games very consistently. He doesn't make long form content. Which when I say long form, just in regards to social media, he mainly makes Instagram videos. He does have an active YouTube channel, but most of his YouTube content is an extension of his Instagram material. So there's not much time invested in his content, which he has more time to dedicate to basketball. What I'm getting at is that's true. Nominator is everybody in that number one spot. The potential then in that, in that sense, you know, B dot every one of these four guys doesn't really count four hours a day, but I mean, he still I'm not puts his Instagram guy, videos guys, on YouTube and stuff. separation from these guys in the rest of the list. Devin Williams, I don't want to forget about him. This, this guy, Devin's just cold, man. Dev he can go. Only thing holding him back, which I, I had this, I had this problem. Devin's too. cold, man. The needs. That's a scary sight. And I'm not going to sit here and say nothing about myself. Plenty of, plenty of other people are talking. Shout out to Devin so, Williams at 10,000 hours, man. Know where everyone would be if everybody dedicated five hours out of their day to basketball. We split the same 24 hours in our day, right? YouTubers True. are built on versatility. Say what you want. I always got girls telling me, you know, make your little videos. They add the lower in five. Man, it's a YouTuber, it ain't tough, man. Like you said, you got the hours to shoot, the hours to edit, the hours to prep, you had to be able to record your own content. The hours to train, the actual, actual hoop. So yeah. That's it's a lifestyle, man. It's an everyday lifestyle, man. Yo. That's it, man. Trey good, man. Like, like I said, we never even met before. But, you know, I know how you really are as a person. Cool dude. You got the vision for everything, man. The way you guys drive your content to be better and better, you know, as time goes on or time progresses. Always thinking about you know new things or new ideas to work on and you know for you guys to put me on the top five of y'all top 25 list is just uh it's an honor it's a blessing and i just want to say thank y'all man yeah man i'm lost for words man it's like saying like like y'all in a sense are like my idols in the basketball world or in the youtube basketball world because you know 
like I said, starting, I looked up to y'all, man. And for me to be where I am right now has, you know, always always been a motivation to you guys. It's nuts, man. Like I don't even know what to say anymore. But uh, I just feel really honored, blessed. Shoot, man, like I said, hopefully one day we'll be able to meet up, collab, make some videos together, man. Yo, shout out to Trey Good, Jay Jones, and, and the crew from Kick Genius. Always keeping it 100, man. That's it, man. Hooping Life, you know, you have the utmost respect from Hooping Life. Until then, man, one day we'll meet. Peace.